this week we get to take a look at a hot little action platformer from Cubite Game Studios. These time jump sequences are always exciting, filled with unforeseen traps. You just have to remember to time your jumps correctly. What the heck? Howdy folks, and welcome to Bean Farm Gaming. And this is our review of The Rift Adventure. I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game prior to its release. It was developed by Game Brew Studio. Sup, Brew. And published by Cubite Interactive. This game was released to all major consoles on September 16th for the price of $7.99. <laughs> Adventure! This game sure looks like a cookie cutter pixel art platformer. Or is it? <laughs> With literally dozens of run to the right platformers being released every week, why should we waste our time with Rift Adventure? <laughs> uh, let's take a look at this game, shall we? The game starts out in a typical village filled with a few NPCs, shops, stores, and they all allow you to spend the coins you find scattered throughout the landscape. A large part of the gameplay here revolves around smashing crates and vases to collect these coins and jewels. Ooh, did somebody say jewels? Ooh, did somebody say jewels? Oh yeah, that's right baby. The vases within the levels will randomly give out jewels that can be sold to the vendors in town for coin. So, yeah, that'll help Daddy bring home the bacon. <laughs> yeah, speaking of bacon, Rift Adventure gives you a choice as to where to spend your hard-earned cheddar. The game has a sub-narrative to the storyline of community supporting taxation as your choice of consumer to be selfish and buy your health items, weapons, and armor upgrades from the shady black market dealer at a cost savings, or you could go mainstream and pay higher prices on Main Street, which are taxed by the city and in turn supports the entire town and pays for the security forces that will fight alongside you during the night invasions, which happen every three days or so. What? Night invasions? Nobody said anything about night invasions. Nope, I'm out of here. Yeah, well that's exactly it, buddy. Where do you choose to spend your money? <laughs> so the developer has a small underwritten statement regarding choice and consumer spending, which could be looked at as the ongoing and enduring discussion of software piracy versus the advantages of supporting small indie studio game developers, which is a good lesson to have a firm grip on. Beyond the educational politics written into the backside of the storyline, Rift Adventure does a moderate job of being an acceptable platformer. The character movements, jumping, climbing, and even attacks can be hit or miss. <laughs> I found it all to be a bit of a learning curve and feeling my character's attack animation in order to predict my combat interactions, especially in boss fights. Wait, there's boss fights? Okay, I'm back in. Let's fight some boss battles! Yeah, every fifth level is a boss battle that has brought me a lot of nest nostalgia for learning repetitive attack patterns and finding the exploits to get in your cheap attacks. <laughs> Which actually is what you want from a 2D pixelized boss fight. As you progress through the 40 levels of platforming, better weapons and armor become available, giving you options to choose the layouts for critical hits, health stealing, or a better chance of performing blocks on enemy attacks. The criticisms I have for Rift Adventure come from the lack of variety of background music to better match the change of environments. Instead, I feel like there's a generic soundtrack that was on a short loop. Enemy AI could have been varied a bit more as most levels have repeated enemy types and I'd previously mentioned my concerns with the controls and inherent learning curve. Sometimes in frantic platforming sections I fell right through the platforms that I could have swore I jumped high enough to land on top of, which is a huge no-no in platforming games. Having the confidence of knowing my character's jumping skill is crucial to platforming, right? 
The achievements are scattered around in such a way that it will not be a quick playthrough. Although one of them is tied directly into completing the game within three hours. <laughs> but if you think you're gonna do that with this game, <laughs> your name must be Sangrius Denied. I don't know, I just don't see it happening unless you spent weeks with the game and fully understand its backbone. Becoming a true Rift adventure expert will take time, which I can think of a whole lot worse way to spend a Thursday night. Overall, Rift Adventure kept things moving along with unlocking new items in the shops, new abilities in each character, and a surprising unwritten lesson in taxation. Which, for eight bucks, I'll keep chasing those achievements with three and a half beans on the thigh. Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> Where I put the keys to the truck. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see. Harvest Moon! Besides Harvest Moon, or call a pootie. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming titles. <laughs> Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on the farm. Did somebody say jewels? Wait. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>